Thank you so much for joining us here today to talk about the 2020 response rate map, which is now live on 2020census.gov slash response dash rates. My name is Zach Schwartz. I'm joined here by my colleague, Christina Storr, and we're excited to walk you through a demonstration on how to use the map. It's really easy, super interactive, and something we're excited for you to share online, on your websites, on your social media, and others to encourage self-responding to the 2020 census. I'm gonna turn it over to my colleague, Christina, to walk us through a demonstration. Thank you, Zach. When a user first comes to the page and views the 2020 self-response rate map, they'll notice two self-response rate numbers at the top of the screen, the national self-response rate to the left and the state self-response rate to the right. Alabama is the default state that is shown. Below that, you'll see the map of the United States, color-coded by the 2020 self-response rate totals. Below the map is a legend showing the color coding for the 2020 self-response rates and a trend line of self-response rates over the period of time. A user can hover over the states and view the 2020 self-response rate, the internet self-response rate, and also the 2010 census self-response rate for reference. To the right of the map, a user will find the tools to dig into the data and view lower levels of geography. There's a quick info button to offer users some guidance on how to select geographies and help them navigate the map. Right below the quick info button, the user has the ability to select a date and view the 2020 self-response rate as of that date. The drop-down near the top of the map allows a user to toggle between 2020 total self-response rates or 2020 internet self-response rates. The total includes all 2020 self-response rates collected from the internet, by paper forms, and by phone. Internet is just the self-response rate for households that completed the 2020 census online. From here, a user can pick a state from the map or from the dropdown to view the self-response rate for that state. Once the user selects the state, they can then dive in by selecting the county view to the right of the map to display all counties within that state. The same hover functionality applies and you're able to see the total self-response rates for the 2020 census, the internet self-response rates, and the 2020 census self-response rates for each county as you move around the map of the selected state. A user can then select a particular county from the map or from the dropdown and dive even deeper into the census tract level by selecting the census tract view from the right side of the map. Again, the same functionality applies with being able to hover and navigate to see the census tract name, the 2020 census total and internet self-response rates, and the 2010 self-response rates. From here, a user can return to the right side navigation and select a city to view the cities within that state. A user can hover around the map to view the city names, the 2020 census total and internet self-response rates, and the 2010 self-response rates. To view a particular city, a user can type in the city name in the search field on the map or in the drop-down list to the right to zoom into that view. If you live in a state that has towns or townships, you'll see options to select these right below the city option to the right of the map. The 2020 self-response rate map also allows users to view rates by congressional district and tribal areas. Users can view tribal tracks within those tribal areas as well. Users can click on return to main view at any point to return to the default national view of the map. The desktop view has the full experience of the map and users can also view this on a mobile device and they'll have a similar experience. They'll see options to navigate to select a state, county, or city. This map is embeddable by going to the bottom bar and selecting the share icon. Users will be given a link to embed this map on their websites in the current view with selected geographies or the original view, which is the main national view. Users will be able to select a link to copy and share out or use the icons to share in an email or on their social media channels. Thanks, Christina. We hope you really enjoyed walking through this map today. If you have any questions about how to use the map, 
please feel free to email us at responseratemap at census.gov. And thank you for tuning in.